Now we go to performance XR. So this is where the data component of uh, a rally prop comes from. So what's interesting about the XR environment is we're able to collect uh, rich and unique data that you have not been able to do before in training. So we're able to, to collect time, motion, distance, things that can be used for ergonomics that can really, with that, with that data, create some real ROI. This data hasn't been available before in the LMS. There's no way to consume it. They couldn't get it. Well, now that we have headsets and we can track all this, we can actually put it into Performance XR and then use that to have real-time analytics of what's happening, uh, AI-driven insights, and then we can use machine learning to do predictive modeling. So the idea here is, is that if a technician is virtually working on um, an electric vehicle, uh, is turning a screw on the uh, on the chassis, and it's best practice to do it five times, they only do it three times, we can track that, and then over time, with our predictive modeling, machine learning, do adaptive learning and say, uh, you know, stop in terms you've only done three, that could result in a loose part and a defect and downtime. So we're able to take this rich data and actually create adaptive learning, which in the industry, and uh, people really just haven't had access to, to this data before. And so we're now working with partners, particularly in the automotive industry, to be able to take that and take this ergonomics and have more effective production lines, less downtime, less scrap. It's a, a very exciting environment. And so we've been able to take what was our base uh, LMS system and alter it to have analytics that can consume this and then uh, have a repository for the data so that we can apply our machine learning to it. Wow, fantastic idea. So in terms of technical specifications, uh, we've got flexible options for integrating with existing LMS platforms. So if somebody has an LMS, one of our competitors, they could use Performance XR just for the analytics and machine learning capability. So we'd like to be the data side of the industry, not the LMS side, and we can partner with any LMS provider to do that, to give them access to this leading edge technology and access to the data. Uh, and uh, we really think that it's important because we can track all this data, have detailed tracking of attempts, progress and activity detail track, and then have it all in very robust analytics dashboards, which we'll show you later on. So really uh, uh, changing an LMS into a way to track this data to make it meaningful and actionable. So in terms of our advantage, it's cloud-based storage uh, of the bookmarks for XR modules and the data. Uh, cloud-based storage of detailed XR activity performance data as well. Uh, integration with any LMS, as I said, or LRS platforms. Uh, we have XR standard and detailed analytics uh, dashboards. Uh, we have dynamic trend recognition, alerts, and recommendations, which is where you lead to adaptive learning, which is where we'd like to get to. And you can use the full performance XR platform. So uh, you can do award certifications, integrate with learning plans, recommend additional training, et cetera. Remember, this is on an LMS. You don't have to use the LMS, but we have the functionality as well on top of the analytics. Mm -hmm. And so here's an example of the analytics. It's available for all the XR content. The dashboards can be filtered, drilled into, saved, scheduled. They can be configured to meet client needs, uh, SSO configured for reports for consumers, and we have detailed activity tracking, which can be used to track performance and highlight problem areas. So as you can see, very robust data, uh, very clean, very easy to see, and then we can customize this to track whatever you want. So. If you're in an automotive application and you're looking at ergonomics data, as I said, like distance and time, we can uh, work with the client to create what's meaningful to them. And remember, the analytics to start is just tracking the data. The next phase is the machine learning to then learn from that data and do adaptive learning. So this is just sort of phase two. Yeah.